Hi everybody, this is John over here at Cigar Advisor and Famous Smoke Shop and we're here in Leaf Cigar Bar doing an extra special cigar and beer video review pairing. And with me is our graphic designer Kevin Beck and our editor at large, Tommy Z-Man Zarzecki. How are we today, boys? Very well. All right, how are we? We're going to be smoking cigars and drinking beer for breakfast. Yeah, pretty much. So really the, uh, the concept behind this is we're smoking the uh, Perdomo Craft Series and really what Nick Perdomo had uh, in, in terms of what he wanted for this line was to blend a line of cigars, or three lines of cigars I should say, that pair perfectly well with different styles of beer. This one is called the Pilsner, so it should be a more light offering. So it should pair well with, I believe, Hefeweizen's, Pilsner's, really uh, light um, American lagers, I Pale suppose. Ales. Pale ales, especially pale ales. So, re so right now, our first pairing of this video series is going to be the Philadelphia Pear Pale Ale. And we partnered up with Yards for this, this entire review series. Uh, they were nice enough to give us a few, uh, a few cases of beer to take home which obviously I drank most of during vacation. So let me go over what the cigar is made of. The long filler tobacco is going to be from the Condega Valley in Nicaragua. The binder is from the Jalapa Valley in Nicaragua. And the wrapper is a really, really lush, silky U.S. Connecticut wrapper. So, so it without looks, further... It looks beautiful. This, and I, I've actually tried a couple of the other in the, his uh, craft beer series, but I haven't had this one yet. And I haven't had this beer yet because right. you guys dragged me in at the last second. I was kind of a fill-in. Mm -hmm. See, the, I'm an afterthought. That's how important the uh, brand ambassador is here. And Pretty much. That's okay. So that's okay. I'll enjoy my breakfast. I'll admit it. We did drag, drag Tommy right. in at the last second. Yeah. So so what I'm going to... label off. Yeah, take the label off, which is... Well, you smoke it without the label, right? Yeah. The green light's awesome. Right. Toasty. Tasty. It's nice. Should we light up? Yeah, let's light up. What do you think? Hmm. The prelate is toasty. It's got well. It's got a little bit of a. The prelate has a little bit of a, a spice to it too, or a fruitiness. I said the construction too. It reminds me of like a baseball bat. It's like so solid. It is really solid. Now, we'll let you all in a little on, in on a little secret. This is probably my favorite cigar out of the entire lineup so far. So. Uh, That's a secret. I guess it's not anymore. Not anymore. Wow. It's a fantastic cigar through and wow. through. I went so far as to, to say I think that this is the most unique flavored Connecticut cigar I can remember having. And, right. and I think I haven't had this yet. It is right off the bat. I mean, the first eighth, sixteenth of an inch is absolutely delicious. There's like a sweetness, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like really what, sweet, tasty. What, what do you what do you get out of this? Give us your breakdown. Uh, my my initial uh, base is is definitely a sweetness and a honey. Um, mm -hmm. There's a, a bit of cedar in there, and um, I even got like some raisins. Mm. Um, you know, a little bit of that uh, dried fruit, some kind of you know dried fruit sweetness. But it's definitely uh, the cedar and the honey are are at the forefront for me. See what I got with all this was, and it's going to sound it's going to sound really weird, and I felt really weird writing the review on this. Um, I get the honey, I, I, I get that sweetness from the honey, but instead of a, a, a fruitiness that's in there, there's a floral note. So for me, it tastes like I get a floral note. Too. Like right right in the beginning, though, I, I you taste a little bit of spice when you first light up, but that that's going to go away almost immediately after you start smoking the cigar. But I, the floral note mixed with the honey reminds me of drinking a cup of black tea with a little bit of honey in it. Well, a good thing to note is that, you know, like when John says honey, he's not calling me honey, so that's important. No. Mm -mm. All right, let's get that straight. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the thing is that for you that guys that aren't as familiar with cigars and you're learning, when we say notes like honey and stuff, there's no honey in there. They no. Don't, this isn't flavored. They haven't injected or infuse this with anything mm -hmm. it just it's the way that it's blended the characteristic it takes on there I, I get some vanilla in there too and honey this is a beautiful probably a great hey for me early day cigar just just wait until you get to the halfway mark but it's not really mild it's i think it's more medium body just because it's that connecticut wrapper i don't want it to fool you there's a lot of flavor going. it, on. it really pumps up on you that's what i that's what i noted in mine too is is that it, it even if it starts as a, a mild or a mild medium it definitely, not only with those flavors crescendoing 
uh, the further down you get the cigar, they really, really ramp up, especially mine was yeah. almost like a switch. Like when I got halfway through the cigar, yeah. it, it, it jumped up and all those flavors that were there, it didn't, uh, you know, some, some cigars uh, take on different flavors as the cigar. That didn't happen for me at all. It was the same flavors, but it's almost like, boom, they dropped and they, they doubled in intensity. See, for me, it the, when, as soon as I got to the halfway mark with this cigar, it was, it was I, I had the opposite experience, I guess, because for me, it, it didn't really amp up any of the, uh, the flavors that were in the first half of the cigar. I got dark chocolate, and it's gonna sound it's gonna sound so stupid because we're doing a, a beer review with it, but it tasted a little malty, yeah. which is great. So it's it's interesting. I think the first half of the cigar is meant for like a lighter beer, and then once you're done with that, throwing that one back, I think you're uh, you're good to go to something a little bit more uh, more intense. Maybe maybe you blended it so you start. The mild, and then it starts to move right into the medium. Maybe. Ready for your medium beer, ready for your medium cigar. I think Nick Perdomo blended this so you could start out light on the golf course, and then as your game sucks, you can suck down uh, a heavier beer. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this has a tremendous amount of flavor. I oh mean, my God. It's really like slamming your palate with a lot of different stuff, and that doesn't mean it's strong because it's not. It's medium bot, but there's so much, there's a lot of complexity. And I think that's the thing of how, you know, talking to Nick about this when he first came out with it, when he was here at Cigarnival, he was saying that uh, that's the idea, that these are complex. The flavors change like a beer is complex and has oh, yeah. all different notes and stuff in it. There's a lot going on in this, guys, and it is absolutely delicious. Now, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be pairing this cigar with our beer of choice. And... We, like I said before, we partnered up with Yards Brewing in, uh, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. These guys are probably my favorite brewery of all time. They come out with beer after beer that is just absolutely, I can't stress you know, this enough. Anybody that gives you a, a case of beer is probably your three favorite. Three cases of beer. Uh, is your favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> no. You get three cases of beer and I get a bottle of pale ale. How did this work? <laughs> so uh, so they, were, they were really, really nice and they were, they were able to offer us uh, some of their beer that they wanted featured and, and would really go well with the cigar because I, I, I gave them a few cigars and they said, well, hey, these would go well with these cigars. Can, so, we, dr can we drink already? We can drink already. I want to drink. So let's pour it in. And fun facts about Yards Brewing, they're actually uh, a 100% wind-powered brewery. Really? They use zero fossil fuels, and uh, when I was doing the tour... Wind-powered? Wind-powered. It, it's, they, don't have, like, they don't have like windmills on top of their building <laughs> that looks like they're about to fly away any second. In downtown Right, in downtown Philadelphia, right next to the Ben Franklin Bridge. Yeah, it's all wind powered. It's from a farm outside of Philadelphia, and they just have the electricity just wired right in. Um, but yeah, the, these guys are really nice. Gave me the the whole tour, the meat and potatoes tour. Um, met the staff, really, really good guys, and told us their entire pro, uh, That's process. That's very cool. They are almost they they recycle. Taking a craft beer uh, tour is very cool. Oh yeah, no. You learn a lot of stuff you didn't know. I've done a few. It's amazing. Now these these guys have been open for for not that long. I think the mid '90s. I think it was. And they're like already about to blow out of this location that they're. I think they're they're not at their first location, but they're at this huge location right now, and they're already almost expanding that's, out of that. Uh, that's pretty established for a craft brewery, though. Really I mean, there's a, a you know a real big boom in, in the craft brew yeah. business, and there's a lot there's of companies like that are two hundred thousand of them now. So how do you stand yeah. out? And it seems like these guys are. By the way, you see that color on this? Yeah, really I good. Mean, this is like just pure gold. Right now, the Philadelphia Pale Golden Ale. Golden honey like color. The Philadelphia Pale Ale is supposed to have some sweetness and it's supposed to have a, a light hoppy flavor, and it's also supposed to have a, a good amount of a citrus flavor. So that should pair really well with the fruity flavors that you're tasting in, in yeah. the cigar. So do we drink? Let's drink, boys. Cheers, Mofo. Hey. Cheers. Can Cheers. I say Mofo on camera? I just did. Mm. And what I really like about the Philadelphia Pale Ale is it's really refreshing. It's uh, four point, uh, what was it, six percent uh, alcohol content, and uh, it's got rich, or it's 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 nice, light, crisp, um, and uh, it's it's got some fruity flavors with a little bit of hop in there. So really, this is a nice like, if you're going to be day drinking, this is what you want to be day drinking I with. Think, I think too. I think it's a it's a true pale ale. It's not like an IPA light uh, or or you know, trying to be uh, close to Pilsner or anything like that. It's a true pale ale, and and for me, it's almost it has that dry 
malt flavor to it. You know, it has a dry uh, mouth feel. Well, it is. Uh, it, it's. It's. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're. You're hit the nail right on the head. And they even say in the marketing material, all of their pale ale is pale in comparison. And I'm. I'm gonna tell you guys. I told you before. I'm not a pale ale drinker, really. I've never been big on it. This is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had some other craft brew beers that were like this that I actually liked pale ale. They kind of called it their breakfast blend. I've had mm. a few places like that. So, and we're real early in the morning. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. And this is absolutely delicious. It's a good breakfast beer. I, I can't get enough of this pairing. So Kevin, tell me what you think of the cigar and the beer together. Well, for me, it's, uh, it's making all those uh, cedar notes and even uh, the raisin that I was, the dried fruit that I was getting, it's it's really pushing them out the back door. Mm -hmm. And it really, for me, it, it amplifies that honey, mm -hmm. that sweetness. Um, and it, and it, it's really bringing that to the front. It's really I I intensifying that. Right. And, and again, as the further down in the cigar we get, um, that was kind of happening on its own with the cigar. And I think the pairing with the beer is really actually um, kicking that into overdrive and actually yeah. making it happen even faster, which is terrific. Yeah, the uh, when when I took a, a sip of the beer and smoked the cigar, um, the sweetness just is just it is so pronounced now. It, it's unbelievable. And now I'm getting into that second half where I said that I tasted the dark baker's chocolate and the malt and all that stuff. Well, now I have a, a, like a sweet maltiness. You get the the honeys in in there as well. You get a little bit of a, a sweet uh, nuttiness to it. Um, it's just, it's in, in that dark chocolate now turns to, uh, or baker's chocolate, I should say, turns into a, a nice dark chocolate. So it turns into a nice, sweet, really complex, flavorful cigar. This pairing is, is out of this world. It really is. It's, it's absolutely terrific. I, I'm not, I'm gonna change my mind that I don't like pale ales, because this is amazing. I think I would like this earlier in the day. I think yeah. at night I'm going to go to, but they have some stuff for later on that we'll talk about. Yeah. Um, I just did the retro hail on this. A wicked, like very toasty. I almost got like toast. And, and you know, again, when John says sweet, for those that aren't as uh, familiar with cigars and learning, it's that natural way that it's just blended. Right. There is no sugar or sweetness. It's or not additives. like you're eating a candy bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just got that notes. And again, when we were talking about the construction, razor sharp burn, beautiful compact, very white ash. I mean, the construction on this is just Yeah, well, great. actually, when I tapped the ash, which you're supposed to do, you're supposed to just do a tap. You're not supposed to grind it or bang it. I um, usually bang the it. The ash just squared off perfectly, which is a sign of a expertly rolled cigar. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't expect anything less from uh, Nick Perdomo. They make unbelievable cigars. So. Anything else before we wrap this up? Yes? Uh, no? Where's my Taylor ham, egg, and cheese sandwich? Yeah, I know. I need some too. I know. This is good. <clears throat> Thumbs up? I think this is one of the best Connecticut cigars I've ever had. I can I, remember having. 100%. And the, the pairing is phenomenal. I agree too. And once again, don't be fooled when he says Connecticut shade wrapped. A lot of Connecticut cigars are very mild for beginners. A lot of old timers smoke them. This is not your grandpa's. Connecticut shade wrap cigar. Um, this has so much complexity. I'm glad that you so much flavor. I'm glad that you brought that up because typically when we say, um, you know, this is a nice mild cigar, or this is a nice Connecticut cigar, or medium full body. We, it, I feel like we're segmenting people into saying if you're a full bodied smoker, yeah. you'll like full body. But this is if let's, you let's go with full flavor. This is this is absolutely full yes, flavor. Yes, it could be medium to light, but still be full flavored, and I, that's it, what this yeah. is. If you're I, a full bodied smoker, you're and, and if you smoke this cigar, it's not like you're going to be missing out on anything. No. You're you're going to absolutely think this is stellar because it's full yeah. flavor. You're, well, again, you know, when we talk about complex, what we mean is there's a lot going on, lots of flavors. It changes as it's smoking. It's actually getting. Um, more fuller, more bolder as it's going on, like you said, but that's what complexity means. It's changes and there's a lot of notes and flavors going on. In Absolutely. So let's wrap this up. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to Nick Perdomo. And if you have any questions or if you're interested in learning more about uh, Perdomo Craft Series Cigars, log on to www.famous-smoke.com and search Perdomo Craft Series in the search bar. And those interested in learning about Yard's Brewery and their entire lineup, I, I, I kid you not, this is my absolute all-time favorite brewery of all time. Uh, 
go to www.yardsbrewing.com. Cheers. Cheers. Now you can crack open your favorite beer and try each cigar in the Perdomo Craft Series line by picking up this six cigar sampler featuring two of each blend on sale now for a limited time only. That's six Perdomo Craft Series cigars on sale only at Famous Smoke Shop. (laughs) 